Old Testament Bible study. I am in Zephaniah. I just wrapped up Habakkuk in the Old Testament. These last few books of the Old Testament, I think, are really overlooked. When you really put them into context and you do some deep diving about what God was telling these different prophets and stuff, it's absolutely beautiful. So anytime I start a new book of the Bible, I have learned that you have to put things into context. You have to kind of help yourself understand, okay, who is the author? Who are they speaking to? What time period are they in? Okay, and so Zephaniah is actually, he's a prophet, but he was the grandson of like one of the great kings of Judah, okay? And he was actually at the center of the like political and religious world of Judah at this time. This time period is covered from 605 BC to the end of days, okay? And this book actually mentions the day of the Lord more than any other Old Testament books. So this is important, and it also clarifies the fall of Judah, that the day of the Lord was near, ending with the blessing of God's presence among his people. So Zephaniah is going to tell us of the destruction or the downfall of Judah, and it's going to preview and foreshadow the end times, so the coming times, the times when Jesus is coming back to the earth right now as we know it. So I'm going to be breaking this down little by little each day. So if you want to join me in this, make sure you're you're following along. I'm going to share a little each day. And I also hope to post it to my YouTube channel. But join me as I study Zephaniah.